I will explain how you can create a, a new client and also change the settings of a new client. When you open the Brain Assistant, you will automatically find this view and here you can select existing clients. Also, you can create a new client by pressing this button. This is what we want to do. If you have an already existing client that wants to play, like default user or John Doe, you can just press on the user and say set as active. Then we see top uh, bar that John Doe is just currently um, selected client. If you want to create a new one right now, we don't have to close the Brain Assistant. We just click on Client Profile and we click on the top bar where it says click to change. So we press click to change and create a new one. You want to use a choose a username. So you can either just give a username like Toby um, H. This would be part of my name. Or you can just click this random generator. So it will create random words that are a little bit funny. So you don't have to choose a username. But what can always work is like my name, for example, is Toby and my first name obviously is Tobias, my last name Tyler. Then you choose a date of birth. So you choose whatever you like. You choose the month and you choose the date. This is not my actual date for uh, birthday. Then you choose the gender. You can also say not specified, male, female, diverse, and the handness. I'm right handed and you can say create. Side note, you don't need to fill everything out, but it makes sense to have a clean client profile where you have all the information you have. So you can press create. Now we created Toby and it has a symbol here right now. I will come to that. Again, if you press create and you just select a random username and we say create, this also works. But obviously here you later on will have a hard time finding the person because if they don't remember this name and you don't remember this gen uh, randomly generated name, then you will have problems selecting the right client if you have a long, long list. So it makes sense to have the right actual name because if I later on look for the last name, Hyla, then it finds the right user. What do we see? We can now say set as active. If we cross out here and we say, oh, I want to uh, remove this client, I press remove. It will ask you, do you really want to remove? Yes, we confirm. Now the user is gone. Now, uh, let's take a close look at this profile. Let's set it as active. Now we see Toby is the active user. We see right-handed, zero coins earned, so we need to play a game. Trained, not yet trained. So what else do we have here? We have an info uh, module. It just shows us the infos and we can change the infos. So for example, we just wanna say, my name is Toby and say save and it will change to Toby Heile. So if you make a tiny little mistake here, you can always create, um, you can always change it and correct it. Player system, it shows us the amount of coins. In this case, zero coins. So if you really, really want to change or make it possible to uh, change something within a game where you need coins, you are the bank. So you can always say, let's add some coins. Obviously, you can also type in a number here and add some coins. You can always remove coins. Um, so here you have a little bit of control. You can choose a player icon. So it's currently this icon. If I press change, you will have the chance to select some you know, random faces like here. Let's choose a lion and here we go. So it makes it a little bit more personal. Um, and this will also be displayed when you play a game. So um, you can say I played the lion. This is my symbol. And here we can see sessions. Right now we didn't run any sessions, so it also says not trained yet. Later on, so let's choose a different client. Here we see already John Doe or Max Mustermann. For example, Max Mustermann has a certain amount of coins, is 13 years old and uh, eight minutes trained. Default user, you see, for example, let's set as active. I didn't write first name or last name, no date of birth. It's also fine. But what we see here in the sessions, we later on can see the exact date, the duration and what project they played. Might be interesting to have a little bit of statistics. This is how you create and select the correct user.